they all, we just got done talking about slopes and equations of lines, and today we're going to talk about slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. So to start first, let's do a refresher on what parallel lines are. Parallel lines are lines that are in the same plane that never intersect. So they will not ever cross each other. So for instance, this red line and this blue line will never intersect. The arrows mean that they go on forever and no matter where we look at these lines they will never cross. In geometry we use a symbol and this symbol right here, the two vertical lines next to each other means is parallel to. So example we can call this red line line 1 and this blue line line 2 and if we want to let people know that they're parallel we can say L1 is parallel to L2. And now we know from this little statement that these two lines are parallel. Symbolically, we can show that two lines are parallel by putting arrows somewhere along the line, like so. So these little arrows mean that the lines are parallel. If you look in the book, sometimes you'll see an arrow kind of like that in red. Same idea, it means that the lines are parallel. Perpendicular lines are also coplanar, and they're lines that do intersect, and they're going to intersect in a special way, and they're going to create 90 degree angles. Remember, we call those right angles. So in this picture down here, the blue line we'll call line 1, call the red line line 2. They are perpendicular which means we have four right angles that are made. So each of these angles is a 90 degree angle and that's because the two lines are perpendicular. And again, in geometry we have a symbol for that. It's this upside down capital T. That means is perpendicular to. So again, we have line one is perpendicular to line two and that's how that little statement is read. So more, most importantly we're going to talk about how the slopes of lines that are parallel are related and same thing for perpendicular and just three little ideas here. Uh, the first two are very similar they're just opposite of each other so if we know that two lines are parallel we also know that their slopes are equal. Conversely, if we know that two lines have equal slopes, then we know they're parallel. So same idea, just written the opposite way. And if we have any two vertical lines, so lines that are straight up and down, those lines will be parallel. Any two horizontal lines, lines that go from left to right, they will be parallel. I think that probably makes sense. If we look down here, we can find the slopes quick of each of these lines. Counting from one point to the other, up 1 over 5, up 1 over 3, up 1 over 5. And you can see that the red line and the blue line, let's call line 1, line 2, line 3. The red line, line 1 is parallel to the blue line, line 3, because they have the same slope. Eventually this purple line will cross the blue line somewhere down this way and it will cross the red line somewhere up this way. If two lines are perpendicular, we know that the product of their slopes, product means if I multiply their two slopes, the product of their slopes is going to be negative 1. You could also say that if we know the product of two slopes is negative 1, then they are perpendicular. And two lines that will always be perpendicular are vertical lines and horizontal lines. Straight left and right, straight up and down. And I'm sorry, it's very difficult to draw them perfectly straight but vertical and horizontal lines will always be perpendicular. Let's check here the slopes of each of these lines. The blue line is down 
5 over 1, so negative 5 over 1. The purple line is negative 5 over 2. And the red line is up 1 over 5. We could check to see if these slopes have a product of negative 1. Uh, we'll check the blue one and the red one and the purple one and the red one. It's pretty obvious that the purple and the blue are not perpendicular. If we multiply these two slopes, the blue and the red, we get negative 1. So that means that they are perpendicular over here. Call them L1. L3, L2. So we can say L1 is perpendicular to L2. We'll check the purple line, negative 5 over 2 times the red line slope gives us negative 1 half. So these lines are not perpendicular. And if you notice, one quick, easy way to check if slopes will have a product of negative 1, like the blue and the red do is they will look like the fractions flipped. So I have 5 over 1 and 1 over 5. And then their signs will be opposite. So one's negative, one's positive. Again, they have opposite signs, and it looks like the fraction is just flipped over. That's a quick way to check that two lines are perpendicular. So I've got three sort of situations where you're going to use this information. One way would be if I want to determine whether our lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither, and I'm given points on those lines. So in this situation, I'm line AB, I have the coordinates of A and B, and CD, I have the coordinates of C and D. And I want to check how they're related, whether they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And I'll always start by finding the slope of each one. So I can find the slope of line AB. And that is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I'll set up my formula for line CD as well. So I end up with negative 4 minus 3 over negative 1. Oops, sorry. Going too fast. That's a good example of when to slow down and be careful. So negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. Negative 1 minus negative 3 is positive 2. And I have negative 4 minus 5 and 2 minus negative 1. That gives us negative 9 over 3, which we can simplify to negative 3 over 1. These are not parallel because they're not equal. And again, a quick way to check if they're perpendicular, they would be flipped and have opposite signs, and they are not flipped, and they do not have opposite signs. So these guys are neither. So I want you to pause the video here. Use this example to help you with the next example, which are pretty similar. So if you found the slopes of each of these, you'd find that the slope of line AB is negative 3 over 2, and the slope of line CD is 2 over 3. Obviously, they are not parallel because they are not the same. But if you look, the fractions are flipped, 3 over 2, 2 over 3, and they have opposite signs. So let's check that. The product is negative 1, so that makes them perpendicular lines. Next thing you might be asked to do is to draw a line that's parallel or perpendicular. And we're going to start again by finding the slope of the line that we're given. So we want to draw a parallel and perpendicular line to this red line that goes through this point P. So we'll find the slope here is down 8 over 4. So the slope is negative 8 over 4, which is the same as negative 2 over 1. 
So the slope of any line parallel to it is going to be the same. And the slope of any line perpendicular to it, we'll just take this fraction, flip it over, and change its sign from negative to positive. So let's draw first the parallel line. We'll go down two to the right one, down two to the right one. Remember that's the same as going up two to the left one. It's the opposite way. And we can draw a line. And those lines are parallel. To do the perpendicular one, we can go up one to the right two, which is the same as down one to the left two. And I'll keep going. Just so that it'll make myself easier time of drawing this line by hand. And that line in blue is perpendicular. And it's actually perpendicular to both of them since the black one and the red one are parallel. So again, pause the video and give the next one a shot. It's very similar. Start by finding the slope of the red line. So you should have found that the red slope is 1 over 3. So that any slope parallel is 1 over 3. And the slope of the perpendicular line is negative 3 over 1. Again, I just flip that fraction and change the sign. And you can graph the lines. And of course, you'll be a little bit neater than I am uh, using a ruler or some sort of straight edge. Last but not least, we'll be asked to write an equation of a line that's parallel or perpendicular to a line that we're given. So in this example, we're given this line y equals 5x plus 2, and we want it to go through this point 15, negative 4. So we'll start with the equation of a line, y equals mx plus b. We know that a line parallel is going to have the same slope, which is 5. And now we need to find b. So let's set up the perpendicular one as well. We know that the slope is going to be a product of 5 that equals negative 1. And remember, we can just flip that fraction. 5 over 1 becomes 1 over 5 and make it the opposite sign. Now, in order to find B to finish the equation, we take this point that we were given and we plug the X value in for X and the Y value in for Y. And we can solve for B come back and replace b and we'll have two equations. So go ahead and do that. Put 15 in for x. And we'll put negative 4 in for y and I'll go ahead and do both. You can do one at a time, which I might recommend. The process is the same. And now we solve each of these for b. So 5 times 15 gives me 75, subtract 75 from both sides and get negative 79 equals B. Over here, negative 1 fifth times 15 gives me negative 3. I'm going to add 3 to both sides and get over here that B is equal to negative 1. So the final thing to do here is to plug B back in right there. And right there, and we'll have two equations. Y equals 5x minus 79. That's the line parallel. And y equals negative 1 fifth x minus 1. That's the line perpendicular. Okay, this one is parallel to the original line. This one's perpendicular, and they both go through this point. So pause the video here and try this example that is very similar. So go ahead and check your answers here. Uh, the top one in red is the line parallel. The bottom one in purple is the line perpendicular. And you can go ahead. If you made a mistake, go ahead and look at my work and compare it to yours. So I want you to try these three problems. They should be very similar to the examples that we just did uh, together and on your own. Use those to help you 
answer question one, two, and three. Make sure you got some notes that I will check in class. Good luck.